The trunk hinge pockets on these vehicles are known for rotting out. So down inside here, the water just lays and you end up with this big, crunchy, rusty nastiness underneath your hinge. And I had that on both sides. It was pretty bad. So what I ended up doing is buying this piece, this whole hinge pocket piece off of, I think it was eBay. And uh, the guy cut it off a donor car and, and shipped it to me, had a little extra metal. So this actually is sandwiched in between two other pieces of metal. It's below the lip of the quarter panel and it's above a support that is in your trunk. So really I just worked out the spot welds got everything loosened up, surgically removed it just the way that it was installed, unlayered it, pulled it out. Now before I did that, I did take a bunch of measurements. I measured side to side, wrote it down, I measured in an X pattern from this corner to this corner, wrote all that down. Now I could have welded a brace in there, but I figured there was enough support and uh, didn't really need to do that, plus I had my measurements. So once it was out, primed up the piece, fitted it, spot welded where it needed to be spot welded back in, got my channels lined up again, and uh, went on with it. So at the same time, I did the package tray as well because this was all roached out. So I'll just give you guys a heads up here. One of the mistakes I made is that these torsion rods for the trunk are what helps open the trunk. It gives it that spring. It's what holds the trunk up. When I bought my torsion rods, I bought the wrong ones. These ones are for a trunk lid that does not have a spoiler on it. So. It pops open just a little bit, enough to get your fingers in there, but then I have to lift it up and put a prop in there. So I need to order those torsion rods. They are kind of crazy to go in and out. Um, you see a lot of war stories on the internet about these things. They're really not that bad if you approach it with some confidence, the right tools, and you think it through, and, and definitely protect some of the area around the torsion rod because they do have a lot of spring and a tendency to maybe want to move around a little bit or a lot when you're taking them out. But I am going to get the new ones ordered so that I don't have to use this prop. But for now, we'll just use the old trusty. So while we're back here talking about the trunk, I thought maybe I'd take you back in time again and show you a little bit of the work that was done to get this thing to this point. So let me bring you in close here and I'll show you what we have going on. All right, well, this is the end result and it was a long way to get to this point. A lot of rust to cut out of the trunk floor. You can see here over by the bracket, it was rusted all the way through. You could see the floor on both sides, just completely roached out. So to get this fixed, had to cut that rust out, peel that bracket off, drilling out the spot welds down to the frame rail. And then we got that all cleaned up and I put some good primer on there. Worked over the frame brackets using templates and welded that together. Got it put back in and man, I think it looks pretty good. Even from the bottom without the tank, you can see that it cleaned up pretty nice. Now this tank, I had to put a new one in. The old one was full of rust. So got that done, put it back in and down the road I went. So hey, if any of you guys have channel stickers that you want to swap, hit me in the comments, let me know. We'll swap email addresses and uh, we'll get you some stickers in the mail and we can share each other's channel. But even if you don't have a channel and you're interested in stickers or shirts, check the link. I have a Teespring store. So thanks guys. Appreciate each and every one of you. Catch me next time.